Let's solve a couple equations over the complex numbers. Uh, to do this, uh, for this particular one right there, since there's a four there, that means there's four solutions and there's three solutions for this one. So the first step for the top problem is to first put it in standard form. You always want to set it equal to zero. Not always, I guess, but usually because you want to use the zero product property. Now I'm going to rewrite, I'm going to let u equal x squared, and I'll rewrite this equation in terms of u. That just helps you see better how to solve it. So now to solve, I can factor, it's going to be u plus 6 times u minus 2 equals 0. That means u plus 6 equals 0, or u minus 2 equals 0. And that means u equals negative 6, or u equals positive 2 and remember we're really trying to solve for x so that means x squared equals negative 6 and x squared equals 2 which means x equals plus or minus i square roots of 6 or x equals plus or minus the square root of 2. That's that problem and you can check them of course by plugging them back in to that original equation to check them. For this other one this is going to be one of those little tricks that you um, well, there's a couple ways you can do it, um, but let's see. No. No, we definitely want to do this with um, the SOAP theory. So what I have is 2x cubed minus 1 cubed. So that's a difference of perfect cubes, and there's a little trick you remember. It's same, opposite, always positive. That's the signs. So the sign is negative. The sign here is the opposite of negative, which is a positive, and the last one is always positive. And so now I'm going to take this 2x, put it here, the 1, put it there. I'll take 2x squared, which is 4x squared, put it there. 2x times 1, which is 2x, and then 1 here. And now if you check, you should see that those work. Um, you're going to get... Um, if you were to foil this back out, just again to kind of show you why that works or that it works, that's going to be 8x squared. This could be negative 4x squared. That's a positive 4x squared, so those cancel out. Here is a positive 2x, and there's a negative 2x, so those cancel out. And 1 times negative 1 is negative 1. So that's how you know that that works. So now I'm going to set each one of these equal to 0. And solve. So 2x minus 1 equals 0. You can solve that pretty easily. 4x squared plus 2x plus 1 equals 0. That one's a little bit harder to solve, so let's do this one first. x equals positive 1 half. And for this, just go ahead and use the quadratic formula. That'll be the simplest way to do it. Negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So that equals negative 2 plus or minus the square root of, that's going to be 4 minus 16, so it's negative 12, all over 8. And that just equals negative 2 plus or minus i root 12 over 8. Some teachers are okay with you leaving your answer like that. Other teachers want you to simplify it more. So square root of 12, remember, is like the square root of 4, which is 2 times the square root of 3. And then you could also factor out a negative. So uh, a negative 2 out of the top, you can factor that out, which means you can cancel um, a negative, or a 2, rather, not a negative 2, a 2 from the top. So it's going to be negative 1 plus or minus the square root of 3 all over 4. That's the simplest form of your answer.